Another quantity that's important to talk about when talking about rotational motion is what we call angular momentum. It is the rotational equivalent of momentum. Remember, we define momentum as mass times velocity. Rotational momentum or angular momentum, instead of P, we use L. Instead of M, remember the equivalent of mass for rotational motion is moment of inertia or rotational inertia I. And instead of V, we use the rotational equivalent, rotational velocity, omega. So when an object rota is rotating about its center of mass, the angular momentum of that object is I times omega, I relative to the center of mass times omega. Now, like for linear momentum, angular momentum is also conserved. This is also a fundamental law of nature. The angular momentum of an object or system of objects is unchanged unless we have an external torque acting on the system. So this can translate into rotational inertia initial times angular velocity initial is equal to rotational inertia final times angular uh, velocity final. Very much like what we talked about when we talked about linear momentum. So again, if there is no external torque, or if the external torques are balanced, the angular momentum is conserved. That's the conservation of angular momentum. Again, if there is no external torque, or if the external torques are balanced, the angular momentum is conserved very much the same definition as we have used for linear momentum.